In this segment, we will introduce you to a few of our favorite techniques for color treating the paper that will help you to expand your color palette when you're using our wonderful range of European crepe paper. One method of coloring the crepe paper is using watercolor inks. And I suggest using this on our doublet crepe paper or on our florist crepe in small quantities. And it's a nice way to add dramatic streaks of color to the project that you're working on. Our second favorite technique is the use of the Ranger brand alcohol inks. And they are wonderful when you need to add some deep, dramatic streaking effects to the paper. For instance, such as on our citrus leaves here. The important thing to remember about the alcohol inks is that it will stain your hands, clothing, work surfaces. So you wanna make sure that you have your workspace protected appropriately. Because of the creping, it will wick the ink very quickly. So there's no need to squeeze the bottle in order for the paper to take the color. It seems to just take to the paper the moment it makes contact. And then if you want to blend two colors, you can add some of the blending solution and it'll help carry the color a little bit. So this is a technique that's really useful if you're making tropical leaves. It has a nice striking effect. Our third favorite product are the Pan Pastel Artist Pastels. Wonderful, highly saturated pigments where a little goes a long way. And we like to use soft brushes to add subtle color changes such as to the interior of flowers, on petals, or on leaves. So the Pan Pastels are wonderful if you're taking a solid colored leaf and you wanna add some autumnal shading, some fall colors. Shades like copper or brown to make leaves look aged. One method of coloring the crepe paper and a personal favorite of mine is using the Design Master Color Tool Spray, which is essentially a spray paint. And it's wonderful for adding some subtle shading, especially to the outside edges of flower petals or to the interiors. I also like to use it to add some subtle shading to foliage in my floral projects. And sometimes I'll wait till a project, a flower has been put together and I'll just apply the color on the edges and be sure to do this in a well ventilated area. And lastly, the Copic brand alcohol ink markers. These are brilliant if you need to do some small scale coloring work and to add some realistic touches to the brown spotting on leaves or to add very fine, subtle um, interior color to flowers such as violets or pansies. Very useful for lots of small scale work. Hopefully you will find these coloring techniques that we've shared with you to be helpful and you will use them to expand your coloring repertoire when you work with our crepe paper. Mm -hmm.